Entrepreneurship is not easy, especially if you are a solopreneur. Uh, you often are isolated, working on your own. And so when you have difficulties and failures, quote unquote, when launches don't go as you hoped, when you do some kind of outreach and the response comes back, well, no response or very little, it's easy to get discouraged and you might be tempted to quit. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a recovery method, a way to bounce back from your so-called failures or setbacks and continue the path of entrepreneurship. Because only if you continue, can you learn and grow enough to make it successful. And I talk about this from my own grounded perspective experience, because I have been full-time as an entrepreneur, a solopreneur since 2009. And in all that time, all these years, I have launched dozens of group programs, online courses. Uh, I've announced my one-on-one -on -one services dozens of times, if not hundreds of times on social media, through email newsletters, et cetera. I've reached out to many potential clients, to potential collaborators, uh, colleagues, joint venture partners. And from all of that, you might imagine that there are a lot of ups and downs. Uh, there are a lot of times when I've done some kind of outreach or promoted some product or service or program or event, and I've gotten very little response, sometimes no response. So if you have had that experience, you are definitely not alone. You can join me in the community of uh, failed entrepreneurs. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say failed entrepreneurs, but those who have experienced some uh, disconnection between our hoped for result and the real uh, actual uh, reality that happened. Uh, so we are never a failed entrepreneur. We are only a in progress learning entrepreneur, right? There is no failure, only redirection if we're willing to see it that way. And the only true failure is when you say, I quit and I will no longer continue trying. But if you always continue trying and and take on a, a growth mindset, a learning perspective, then it's all opportunities. It's all data. It's not speaking anything about who you are as a person, your worth, your uh, potential. Uh, what it speaks to is, oh, you had some expectation and that expectation turns out not to be realistic. So how can we... Uh, you know, ideally have little expectation except for what happened the last few times when we did the exact same thing, then it's a realistic expectation, but anything else is who knows, right? And, and you simply have to try, experiment, and learn so that you can experiment a little bit better next time. So uh, still to this day, I experience some setbacks and so-called failures. Uh, right now, as of this recording, I am relaunching a program that, uh, in my opinion, was kind of a failure compared to my other programs because uh, the response and the engagement was far lower than I had expected. Right now, I'm actually launching uh, launching another major program, and the response is much slower than I expected. Uh, compared to, in fact, compared to previous years. Uh, and it's because I made some big changes to the program and that that was part of it. But but still to this day, I experience so-called failures. And I want you to know that because maybe you see me as having a stable business. As maybe some of you see me as having a successful business. And I do, for the most part, um, I always... I, the only reason I mention any number is because some of you actually find that interesting and, and grounding and, and helpful. So 
my revenue in my business is between two to three hundred thousand a year. Uh, my take home is you know well over a hundred thousand a year. It's between one hundred two hundred k um, after expenses, after all expenses, paying affiliates and everything. So take you know after taxes, it's, it doesn't matter. I live very comfortably. Uh, even in San Francisco, you know, one of the more expensive cities in the world, I live comfortably. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm, I'm wealthy, especially not compared to my neighbors around here. Um, but I'm certainly middle class in my city, I would say. Um, and, and as a solopreneur, I, I do have a couple of assistants that work for me a few hours um, per week. That That's actually relatively new. Just this year, I, I ramped up my my um my working with certain assistants and helpers, but I've been solopreneur most of my years. So I'm, you know, I, I'm successful as most solopreneurs might consider it. And yet to this day, I experience failures. And you say, so how can how can that be, George? You are a an expert, you know, in business, marketing, et cetera. And I'll tell you this: those of us who are so-called experts or professionals and who have succeeded um, time after time after time in various launches, you don't see all the, typically you don't see all the failures that we don't promote and tell you about. Uh, you only see us launch things and we don't, you don't see us usually say, hey, that was a failure, <laughs> yet another failure, yet another failure. So uh, truly the, the, the professionals and the experts and the leaders are often the ones who are willing to so-called fail the most, but bounce back and, and have a resilience process that allows them to continue trying, learning, growing, and therefore create more and more and more successful systems and processes over time. It takes years. And a lot of you don't realize this, but you will <laughs> as, you, as you keep trying. So, as promised, let me share with you um, this resilience process that kind of came to me one day when one of my failures, I uh, was very discouraged and this word came to me, just breathe. That was the word, breathe. And I said, okay, yes, breathe. Yes, that, that was helpful. But then I thought, hmm, maybe there's something deeper here. Maybe Maybe breathe could mean something more than just take a few deep, gentle breaths, which is always helpful. So over the next few days, I, I reflected on this word and I love acronyms. So I turn it into an acronym for a resilience process that I'm going to share with you now. So uh, it stands is, you know, breathe. Um, uh, what is it? Seven letters. <laughs> and each letter stands for one part of the process. So B stands for breathe. Um, <laughs> And simply, like when you're discouraged, when you're feeling down, um, when you're feeling maybe like a failure or tempted to quit, please don't. The first thing you should do is take a few gentle, deep breaths. And just that act of bringing some more oxygen into your body and your brain will just instantly shift a little bit your energy towards hopefully a little bit more a little bit more perspective than the immediate state of negativity that you might be in, in initially so a couple of large gentle deep breaths that's the first step breathe that's b for breathe r stands for rest and if you have been watching my videos for a while, you probably have heard that I take multiple naps a day. I love taking naps. So when I say rest, uh, to me, that just means go and take a nap. Um, it's going to be okay. Go and take a 15-minute, 20-minute nap. I don't take naps more than like 25 minutes, definitely not more than that because I, I feel groggy the, the, the rest of the day. But 15 minutes is pretty good. Uh, it's nice. I don't usually fall asleep in my naps, but at least I drift maybe a little bit if I'm lucky, or at least just lay down and just relax into, you know, uh, just relax horizontally with eyes closed and, and try to feel some kind of, I imagine some kind of energy healing from the earth or from the divine source as I'm laying there and gently breathing and, and relaxing horizontally. So that's R for rest, rest at whatever way uh, makes sense to you. But just take a, take a moment, take 15 minutes. 
or half an hour if you can to just rest. Don't do anything else. Just relax and kind of try to feel some some energy healing from from your um, divine source or from the earth. So that's R for rest. E stands for extract the good. So E for extract the good. What do I mean by this is that no failure or no experience that feels like a setback or no, no thing that you've tried that didn't work is ever 100% failure. So let me say that again. Whatever you did, whatever you tried, whatever action you took, there is something good from it that you can, you can say, you know, sure, it didn't turn out the way I expected, but I'm glad I did that, or I did this at least, or I learned this. Okay, so E is to extract some, some goodness from that action or from that situation, whether it's from something you did, that, some part of what you did that you say, you know what, at least I did that. At least I can be proud of this. At least I tried that. Or maybe that aspect of it went well, you know, and I'm going to keep doing that next time, but I'm going to do this other things differently. What can you learn? What, what can you appreciate uh, from, from, the, from the situation, from the activity? And also, what, what might you learn? So E stands for extract the good from that situation. A stands for ask for guidance. Ask for guidance. So you might have a friend you can go to or a coach or a community of people that you trust. And I just encourage you to go to someone as well, actually, even before you go to someone, if you believe in a divine, some kind of invisible support in your life, whether it's God, angels, spirit guide, you know, the universe, your higher consciousness, ask that source, that invisible source for guidance and just close your eyes and sincerely take a moment to say, well, if you have a hard time extracting the good, you can ask for guidance for that. Like, what can I gain from this situation? What is something good from this situation? Like make a sincere ask and also ask, what shall I do next for the highest good of all? What shall I do next for the highest good of all, including my highest good? Ask your invisible source for guidance and, and then take the next step and ask your visible sources for guidance. Go to your friend, coach, supportive group, you know, colleague uh, who, who, who you have a great rapport with and say, hey, you know what? I'm feeling discouraged. I had a setback and I just wonder if you had any words of encouragement, uh, maybe even guidance for me. So just and, and people, your friends, you know, want to help you. They do. You have friends and supportive people in your life. You do, and who want to help you. And we just don't ask often enough. And something sim as simple as this, like, hey, I'm feeling discouraged and wondered if you have any words of encouragement for me. I tried this and it didn't work out. Um, any words of encouragement or guidance? I'm super grateful. Um, either way, thank you for being a support in my life. Something like that. Just, just do that. It's so helpful to get in touch with another human being. So please, please do this. Please do this, right? So A is to ask for guidance. T is trust. Now that you have extracted the good or tried your best, you've asked for guidance, it's time to trust that the guidance will come to you. Maybe you sent a, you, you, you said a prayer and then you also sent a couple of emails or messages. No, don't ask just one person, by the way. Ask at least two or three people because it'll take them time to get back to you. And one person will get back to you faster than, a, than another. Maybe one or two people will be so busy, they didn't see the message and only one person. So ask at least three people, really. Promise me, you'll do that. Okay, ask at least three people this, this kind of question. And then T is to trust. Trust that the, the guidance is coming to you. It is. And better days are coming to you. I believe uh, with all my heart, I really do. I believe hundred and 50% in the fact that we are being guided. This is sharing my worldview, and you, you might believe something different, but uh, you can indulge me for a moment and, and imagine this may be true, who knows, that I really believe that there is invisible guidance all around us and through us 
you might call it, like I said, angels, spirit guides, God, the universe, um, you know, guiding spirits uh, who are incredibly powerful, more powerful than us, actually. But they try not to interfere with our free will and our ability to make our own decisions and experience our own life, including all the failures and setbacks. That's important. That's an important part of life. For, for whatever reason, we, I believe, we incarnated here to experience all the ups and downs. Because, and hopefully, they're, they, they, I think, are are wishing that we will learn from it. We will grow from it. Because why? Because the background of all of it is, it's truly all good. After this life, I believe our consciousness continues into a better body and into a, you know, into a, a more powerful perspective. Like w- there's no death, in my opinion. Uh, in my, you know, I really believe this. There's no death or consciousness, just like a doorway and the body dies, sure. But then consciousness keeps going, oh my God, it just pops out of the body and go, wow, everything's all good. It's all love. It's all power. It's all love. And I'm part of the all. The all and I can now go anywhere in the universe. And anyway, it's, it, this is just, uh, this life, in my opinion, is just a virtual simulation. It's like a t- very tiny moment. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop there with my ramblings about spirituality and just say trust trust that if you believe in an invisible source and guidance that's coming to you really is more powerful than you can you can imagine they don't they only whisper to you because they don't want to be too loud and interfere with your own free will uh but trust also the visible guidance is coming to you right because it's just if you want to talk about secular i mean just your brain as you ask for guidance your brain is going to be primed to, to to look for the guidance that you asked for so trust that's T. H stands for help someone else. It is really remarkable that when we are feeling, feeling down and negative, it's a downward spiral. And the downward spiral is related to focusing on ourselves, 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 our problems, our problems, our situation, our situation. That's truly the downward spiral is in, in, into more and more egoism. And I, I I don't mean to judge those of you who are feeling depressed and sad and and angry or frustrated or confused or whatever, but someone's got to say it to you. Whenever you're feeling negative, depressed, angry, da 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 da, da, who are you focused on? You're focused on yourself. And when you are willing, I know it's hard. I mean, you don't like to hear this. You think I'm judging you. You think I'm being mean. I'm just speaking what I. what appears to me to be the truth, which is when, when, because I know the experience myself, it's focusing on myself. And when I focus on somebody else, there's always someone who is less fortunate than you. Of course, we are, we, most of us watching this video live in so much privilege compared to other people in, in the, in the, in the world. Pick any, any place in the world, a war, war torn country, you know, a, a famine, uh, a community with, tons of famine they can barely get today's any meal to eat let alone you know they don't have any homeless shelters or anything it's just you die in the wilderness uh, otherwise but anyway there's always someone now that's kind of extreme um but there's always someone you can help in your own community in your own circle and i'm not talking about go and feed the hungry and you know um heal the heal the sick and and that's yes if you can do that but i'm talking about something as simple as going to a Facebook group and being helpful there. That's all I'm saying. It's something you can do right now. You don't have to go and travel to a a war-torn country to help out. I'm just asking you to take a moment after you've done the breathing, resting, extracting the good, asking for guidance, trusting. Now just take take 10 minutes and go into a Facebook group that you enjoy and try to be helpful. That's all I'm saying. Just go to some group or some thread uh, that you enjoy, the colleagues of yours, um, friends of yours, clients, or uh, you know, co- acquaintances, and go and just be helpful. Go on social media and comment, on, comment supportively on someone's post. There's always someone. I mean, it, you know how it feels when someone comments on your post. You feel great. You know, you feel you feel uplifted, even though they never write back. They might not write back to you or let you know that they feel uplifted. They do, right? Same thing. You've seen many comments and you don't have time sometimes or energy to respond, but you feel a little uplift when someone comments supportively and appreciatively. Do that. Do that for someone. It's going to take you five or 10 minutes. Try not to get sucked into social media too much, 
but just set a timer for 10 minutes and say, I'm just going to go and be a supportive commenter on a couple of posts. That's it. Just appreciate them for who they are, appreciate what they said. And that's it. And just by doing that, you instantly, I think, will come out of your, your, um, your kind of your shell or your downward spiral and spiral upwards again towards the whole community, towards the greater all that you are part of. So that's H for help someone. And then E finally is experiment. E for experiment. Once again, I encourage you to get out there again. Now, I, assuming after you, you've rested, you've <laughs> asked for guidance and you've taken some time to, to rest, now it's time to experiment again. Don't take too much time to rest, meaning you know, don't, don't wait too long to experiment again because the secret, <laughs> you could say, of entrepreneurship is to experiment as much as you can. Try another tiny, tiny launch. Try posting another piece of content. And the experimentation mindset says, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if people are going to like it or not, but I'm going to try. That's all that means. I don't know, but I'm going to experiment. I'm going to try. I'm going to play with this new idea. I'm going to play with uh, this format. I'm going to just try to put something out there without judgment of whether, without judging myself and without expectation of what's going to come back. It's an experiment. Let's see what happens. Stay curious. So uh, by doing these steps, you hopefully will recover and get out there again into action. That's the key. You kind of like start off by taking care of yourself and then you end up getting out there again with action because that's how we continue to learn, to grow. And by doing so, we find out what authentic success means for us. We discover the, the methods that work for us, the systems that we want to grow and develop. And therefore, you become more and more of a seasoned and effective entrepreneur. The key is to have a quick recovery process, a resilience process, just like the way I've described it. You are welcome to borrow this, completely use this, teach this to other people, or modify it and uh, make it your own. But I want you to have a quick resilience process because the next setback is inevitably coming. I know this myself from my own business and you can't just expect if you have success or something no if you if you're willing to experiment which which is needed for your potential to be reached then you're going to have a setback or a mismatched expectation versus reality at some point and having a tool like this to bounce back quickly is so essential so i hope you'll give it a try or if you have a, a your own resilience process that works well for you I welcome you to comment below. It might really benefit somebody else. So thank you so much for joining me. And I appreciate and honor the entrepreneurial journey that you're on. We're all together in this community, this larger global community, historical community called entrepreneurship, that you are in this with us. And we're all in this together. So I hope that you will continue on remembering that no matter what, somehow, in some way, all is well if we just trust the process. Know that all will be well. Keep learning, keep trying, keep growing. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.